Hi, Tuck Techers. Many of you had asked, how do you roll up your kayak when you're finished with it? So I'm going to show you today the easiest way that I think to roll it up. You can take the clasp apart in any order. When I showed you setting it up, we did the stern and we did the bow first. Taking it apart, it does not matter. So pull your cotter pins, push down with your thumb to release the pressure. Swing that around. And this tab already came off. Okay, I'm going to come up here, push down with your thumb, and see that just swung down by itself. Push down with your thumb, swing it around. Okay, I'm coming up, take your cotter pin out, push down with your thumb, swing the little tab around. I'm going to take the connector off the J hook there. Okay, get this side, push down. And that swings around. Push down on the metal part and that swings around. Oops. All right, now here's two things you gotta remember. Let out on your foot pedal all the way. Because one of the first times I and also the skeg. So your skeg might be up where you brought it in. Take it completely down because I pulled the string out one time when I was doing it. And then I kind of wipe down the middle of it if there is a little bit of water from paddling. Okay. You want to roll it from the front toward the skeg. And I'm going to go ahead and get my little strap that will go around the whole burrito. Soft side down. I'm going to go ahead and get it ready down here. Okay. And I've got something to kneel on because I like to be down low with my kayak when I'm rolling it up. So, all right, foot hold is all the way out, and you fold these creases here, or they'll show you where to fold, and I wipe it down as I fold. And here's the other thing, too. When you get home, it's not a bad idea to hose it off, because you may have some invasive little hitchhikers that got on your kayak while you were paddling. Okay, there's one fold. Now, many of you will say, now wait a minute, why isn't Sandy rolling her seat and her foamy pads in it? I think that's too hard. And I like easy. So I'm going to show you, those will go into my equipment bag. Okay, and sometimes those little tabs get stuck. I'm going to roll up, wipe it down as I go. those tabs in because they want to pull them back out. Okay, got my little knee pad so I have something to kneel on. You could use a beach towel, you could use your life jacket, anything that's soft. And you notice this is not super graceful. Okay, and I pull the skeg around like this. I even thread to the Canadian geese. What a cool sound. I thread this through that little notch right there because it helps hold the skeg down. And then I will do it like this. Kind of roll it. Okay, easy peasy. It's all rolled up. Now this is my old one, and actually my strap doesn't work on it anymore, but I want to show you this angle because when you get home, take the garden hose, spray it down to get any invasive algae or plant life or anything off of it. It's good to go, guys. It's that simple. Get out there and kayak and roll it up and fish away.